Hello everybody and welcome to Scalable Scripts. In this video you will learn how to create authentication using Vue.js. The backend for this video is done on Laravel and you can find the video on our channel. In this tutorial you will be able to create redirecting and logout component. This video is part of our Vue.js authorization tutorial. Let's start with it. Now that we successfully logged in, let's display the first name and last name here in the hello message. Let's create a variable user in the data property. Return user. I will initialize it now. And here, when we get the response, let's set user response to data. Now that we got the user, let's add it here with an if condition. So if the user is set, then we display high. User.firstName, user.lastName. So v if is similar to an if statement and this line here will show only when user is not null or not false. Then the way to show variables in view is by using double curly brackets. So we are showing here user.firstName. So the first name of the user and here we are showing the last name of the user. In case user is null, we put here if not user. So this means the opposite of the above line. And here we will show you are not logged in. Let's open the browser. And we got an error. Because the template route requires exactly one element. The reason is that we added two elements inside the template route. Let's add another div here. Let's open the browser and yeah, now it shows hi AA. So this is the first name of this user and this is the last name of this user. Now we want to add a logout button here. But before we do that, we need to make this button clickable. Because right now they are not working. Let's go to nav component and we need to change these anchor links here. We cannot replace them with, for example, here in login with just slash login, because this will refresh the page. It will redirect to the exact page, but if you see the page got refreshed, click it again and again, it got refreshed. So this is not the behavior that we want. To redirect without refreshing the page, we need to use router link and replace href with two. This will redirect us to login page without refreshing. Let's do the same thing for sign up. Router link to slash register. And let's change it here too, for the main page. So now we are at the login page. We go to the sign up page and the page didn't refresh. Let's go to login page again and then to home page. Everything looks to be working fine. There is one more redirect that we need to add. On login page, when we successfully log in, we need to get redirected to the main page. Go to login.view and here add this dot dollar router dot push dot to the main page. Let's try it now by trying to log in with our user. So we successfully got redirected to the main page. Now let's add the logout button. Now that we are logged in, we need to add the logout button here on the headers. Let's do it 
Let's go to home.view and we want to add the same thing here on our nav.view. But this is not a good practice, since we are duplicating the code and on both components we will call this request. Luckily, both of them have the same parent component, which is app.view. So let's move that code here and pass via property the logged in user. Let's cut this code here and go to app.view and paste it. Let's go again and now cut Axios. And paste it here. Now everything is the same, but we don't have the user variable now. But there's a way to pass it from our parent component to this component, and is to use custom directives. We'll use it here, so user is equal to user. So this is a custom directive we are assigning, and this is the data that we want to pass to this directive. Note that we are passing to the router view. It means every component here will have access to this user. But they can use it or not depends if the component needs to the logged in user. Let's go to home.view now. And the way to access the user that is assigned by the parent is like this. Props. Now open an array and here user. So the properties that we are getting from our parent is the user property. Let's open the browser. Now everything works similar to the beginning. Now let's pass the same directive on our nav. User equals to user. Now let's go to our nav and add here props user. Now that we have the current logged in user, we can make an if statement here. V if, this will show if the user is not set or if it's null. Let's copy and paste it again. And when the user is set, we will show a logout button. Let's open the browser. And now we are showing the logout button, but it's not functional. Actually, we are redirecting to login page. So let's make some changes. This should be not here. And let's change it to an anchor link with href javascript void 0. This means that when we click this link, nothing happens. So if you go to our home and click log out, nothing will happen. Now let's add a click listener here. Click equals to handle click. And add methods here. Handle click. Now when we click log out, we want to remove our token from our local storage. So write local storage remove item token. And we will be logged out. We will also need to redirect to the main page. Now if we click log out, nothing will happen. But if we refresh, we can see that we are not logged in. So the logout functionality works fine, but still we need to refresh the page. So this is not our optimal solution for our problem. The optimal solution is by using Vuex. Let's do that in the next tutorial.